Here we go. Reporting in progress. So here we go. Um, wait a minute. Let me open up to the right one. So we are on today 1-3. And here we go. All right. So you're going to do the odds. So translate each phrase into an expression. Four dollars left in the top of the sweater is X minus four. You are amazing. X minus four. For those of you guys who wrote four minus, all right, you need to remember you're four less than. You're not starting with four. Sorry, guys. You're not starting with four. You are what? You are subtracting four. You are subtracting four. All right. Now, again, we're not in a big enough hurry that if you don't understand something, you're not going to ask me. All right. So everybody should have number three down. Right. You should already have the answer number three. And then when the next person tells the answer, then you know if you're doing it right. You're not writing down my answers. Everybody understand that? You're not because you don't know if you're doing it right. If all you're doing is writing down my answers, and you're never getting smarter. Do your own work. Then when you take the test, you don't have to worry about it. It's easy. All right. So number three. So if you make, listen, it's okay. It's okay. Let me help. So if you make $10 per hour after five hours, you better expect how much money? Look at what your brain did. You automatically knew the answer, right? And it wasn't addition. It was what? Yes. That's what I want everybody to remember. If you're having trouble with the translation, put a number in for the variable and your brain already knows what the answer is. And some people, for some reason, have a hard time doing that. All right, I don't want you to do that. All right, if you're struggling, let me know. Anybody have any trouble with $10 per hour? Now, oh, I put five. I'm sorry, guys. I meant to put 10 there. I was running my mouth babbling and sometimes my words interrupt my hand. So it is 10 H. Now, if you write this H times 10, we don't do that anymore because this is an X, right? We're going to be using variables this year. All right. So we don't, we drop the multiplication sign. All right. This is how you do multiplication 10 H. All right. That's how you're going to do it. If you write something like sometimes this happens on a test 10 times h the dot means the same right yeah. so i wouldn't mark it wrong i just would say you don't need the dot there anymore all right now again let's move on number five yes peter you're up come on pay attention now yes you're amazing that's how easy now please guys i'm i can't tell you if you're not going to tell me you don't know something i can't help you all right so if you knew the answer was 25 now i'm on number seven all right next yes 16 i'm happy right and if you want to put 20 minus 10 plus 6 i'm happy all right, it's really simple. All right, as soon as you stop asking me questions, math gets what? Harder. If you can do everything I'm telling you to do, it'll be simple. All right, don't sit there and not know something. All right, number nine. What do I do here, Aiden? What's G? Right, and then I'd have to divide by now, listen to me, guys. Here's where I'm going to help you. I don't want you multiplying six times 10. It'd be easier to reduce what? And do the division first. What's 10 divided by five? I'm letting Aiden do it. And then multiply by six. Guess what that is? Yes. Guess what 60 divided by five is? 12, does it matter? No, it's just easier to do the division first. Is everybody happy with that? All right, I'm gonna teach you a lot about order of operation this year. All right, so now I need help with number 11. You get to read. Finley, you're up. Thank you, bless you, bless you. 
one pint. It's so I know, I know. Come on, come on. I, So one P equals 16. And generally you list fluid ounces as FL. All right. So, right. So if I have P, Pints, how many ounces would I get? Now, do me a favor. I want to do, I, we're going to do B first. So read B now. Finna. What would I do? How many, how many ounces are in five pints? is in what? So if you have five of them, shh, shh. yes, can you do 16? No, 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 mental math, 16 times five. What's five times 10? Five times six, 50 plus 30. That's how I want you to do it. So you have 80 ounces, all right? You have 80 fluid ounces. So how did I get, how did I get that answer? You multiplied, right? So now, if I have P pints, how many fluid ounces would I get? What would I do? Yes. So it would be, what am I multiplying, though? And yes, P times what? Yes. Now, instead of saying P times 16, we're just going to write what? 16. 16P. That's what we're doing. Okay. All right, let's continue around the room. I like this a lot. All right. Now, remember, we always make division a fraction. Yep, so you're right. 24 divided by X, but that's how I do division. We don't do the division symbol anymore. All right. So 15. <laughs> Do you, know, do you know how many inches in a foot? And you might or may or may not know. 12, right. 12. 12. 12. Uh -huh. So let me show you something. Let me show you something. If I said you had three feet, how many inches is that? 36. Now your brain automatically said I just multiply by 12, right? So the number of feet, you just multiply by 12. So if I have uh, if I have F feet, how many inches is that? Um, well, but we don't have three anymore. We have F times how many feet do you have? Here, here, let me show you again. Let me show you again. F I'm gonna call as the number of feet, all right? F is the number of feet. So the question is, how many inches are there? So what I'm trying to teach you is this. If I said you had three feet, you immediately said it was 36 inches because you said that's just three times 12, right? So you always take the number of feet that you have and multiply by 12. So how many feet do you have? F. So multiply F by what? 12. And don't worry about it. It's just 12 F. That's what we're trying to say. All right. These are tricky now. All right. Tell me. What? 12 F was our answer. You always, what? You, you always take the number of feet that you have and multiply it by 12, and that will tell you how many inches. You. you with me on that? Make sense? Yeah. All right, that was the hard part. We don't have a specific number of feet. We have F feet. All right. Ooh, this is kind of tricky. Carolyn, you going to help me with 17? All right, tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, very smart. Say it again. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This one's tricky. All right. So part of the reason why I'm a little mad at the book on this is because they didn't tell me how many dimes there are, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to say there are D what? D represents the amount of dimes, okay? Now you said something super smart. A dime is worth how much? 10 cents, right? So I take the amount of dimes that I have and I multiply it by what? Yes. So you have 10 D cents, but you have four less than that now. So what do I do? That is correct. That was hard, guys. All right. And if you're having trouble, just put a little star by it and say, think about it later. All right. Now, why did I multiply by 10 again? Tell us. Because 10 cents is in a dime. Right? Is everybody okay with that? If you have five dimes, you would have 50 cents. All right? Kind of like the feet and the inches. All right? Same kind. All right. So here we go. 19. Who's up? No, no. Right here. Up top. Sadie's up. Wait, whoa, 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 which one are we doing? It's all right. Come on, don't worry, don't worry. It's all right. Just tell me the answer to 19. Nine. Is four. four. Perfect. Nothing to it. All right. So I'm on 21 now. That's me, yes. Yes. Wait a minute. 18 plus 4. What's B? So I'm doing 18 plus 4 times 4. Shouldn't you write that first, right? You agree with me? Mm -hmm. So now, order of operation says, what am I doing? Oh, you're multiplying two. Yeah. So what would that be? Mm -hmm. And what's 18 plus 16? Let me show you. Let me show you something. You ready? Hold on a minute. Let me just explain something. I'm helping mental math. Everybody needs your attention. If I'm adding 18, I just add 20. What's 16 plus 20? Let her do it, please. And then you added too much. You added two too many. So instead, it would instead of 36, it would be what? Oh, Yay. So anytime you add 18 or anytime you add 19, it's easier just to add 20 and subtract two or add 20 and subtract one. That's helped you with the mental math. Then you're not carrying and doing all that other kind of silly stuff. All right, if you're not sure what I'm saying, speak up. All right, we're on 23 now. So it's eight times what? Nine. And then I'm dividing by? Six. Right, would I do eight times nine, four? Or is there a shortcut? Shut. Go. Tell me what to do first. Do this. Look what I'm circling. Do that part first. Uh huh. What's eight divided by four? Two times nine. Isn't that much better than doing seventy-two divided by four? much easier all right hopefully everybody understands that it's much better does everybody agree i don't want to do 72 divided by four i'd rather do what nine times two what did you think the answer was you told me the answer what did you get that's what i'm asking you see what I'm saying, right? It's better to do the division first. Do you agree? Because it's just quicker. Do you agree with me? All right. So eight divided by four is two. Two times nine is 18. All right. I'm happy with that. All right. Who's up for 25? All right. Me. Tell me what to do. Seven times what? What's B? 
minus three times 11. All right, I'm putting it on my paper just to make sure. All right, now tell me what the final answer is. Seven times four is 28. Good job. Good. You're amazing. That was nice and smooth. Perfect. Six. Everybody's happy with that so far? Yes. All right, let's knock out 27. So tell me what to do on 27. Shh, shh, hold up. We're back here. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold up. Hold up. It was six. All right, here we go with 27. Tell me what two things I'm multiplying. Nine times 11. And then I'm dividing by what? And then minus 15, correct? So what do I do first? And that's what? And then? That's what? So now we're doing 33 minus 15. 18, perfect. What's the matter? So, now, so, so I did nine divided by three times 11. Nine by 32. That's what we did. So then how did you get 18 times the final? 33 minus 15. Oh, shoot. There's a minus 15 there, you see it? That's that was number 27. We just did 27. Yeah. Right? Nine times eleven divided by three. Yeah, no, no, no I, I was telling her. I was telling her. I was telling her. All right. Everybody's good with 27. Try. All right. Tell me what C is. I can't see very good. Six times what? Yeah. Six times eleven. Minus two times. What's A? Yes. Plus six times what's B? Yes. You good? All right. So now tell me. Six times. Well, okay. You can do this one first. It doesn't matter, right? Which one are you doing first? Tell me, kiddo. Yes. Good. And now what? Good. Minus. Yes. All right. So let's do 66 minus 20. What's that? Yes. And then you add two. So what's 46 plus two? Yes. Right. So we're going to do 48 plus 24. Now I want you to add 40 plus 20, what's that? And what's four plus eight? And 60 plus 12. There you go. Good job, kiddo, very nice. Good work. Listen, listen, Finley, I, I, all I'm saying is look, I don't, I don't play around in class. All right, some of you guys are going to find the hard way. I'm not playing around. I am. I care about everybody learning. All right, if you're a distraction, that's a problem. And I don't. I take care of problems. All right, so I don't want to be distracted. I'm over here trying to help, and I'm looking up over there, and something's going on. I don't know what it is. I don't play. All right, here we go. Perfect. All right, now... That was 29, perfect. All right, 31. So write an expression for the number of gallons. Okay, so you got a little, one a little bit more difficult because now they're telling you that you have cubic inches. So can you, what, what do, I want to see what you think the answer is, and then I'm going to tell you what to do. And if you don't know, that's okay. Do you know? Okay, so everybody's looking up now. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to draw a gallon. All right, I'm going to draw a gallon. All right, does everyone know what a gallon looks like, right? Yeah. Right, so I'm going to draw a gallon. All right, duplicate. And then I'm going to draw a gallon. And mostly I'm trying to draw like a gallon of paint, right? There's a little thing right there. There's a little hole right over there. And then you carry your paint, right? So that's a gallon. All right. Now what I'm going to do is visual 
Uh oh. Sorry. I'm going to do this now. All right. Hold on one second. What do you think I'm trying to draw now? Thank you so much for listening. I'm drawing a cubic inch. All right. Now what I'm going to do is this for you. How many of these fit in here? That's exactly right. So watch this. All right, now I'm going to do something crazy. All right, now watch, please. And, and I'm trying to teach you the visual. And part of the reason why I love my iPad is because I can do visuals really good. So keep watching me. All right, keep watching, keep watching. You'll see what I mean in a minute. All right. Now, if if right there you saw 231 cubes, then that would, how many of them would fit in there? 231, correct? Now watch, just to show you something else really cool. Duplicate this. Wow. No, just watch and pay attention and listen carefully because I think it's really helpful. I don't want to get this piece over here. Duplicate. Now watch how nice this is. Show you the power of doubling. Right? Look how cool that is. Right? Now you can see I'm going to shrink this down just so you can see something, observe something. All right? So that's the number of cubes I have, right? How many gallons will that make? Shh, shh, shh. I want you to think about how many gallons could I make out of that? What do, oh, oh, no, 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 I'm not asking you. I'm asking over here, right? I don't know how many cubes I have. You with me? But what am I doing to the cubes? Into what? I'm trying to put them into a what? I'm trying to put them into a bucket. Now, how many of them could fit in here? So listen to what I'm telling you now. Please listen. This is important. I'm taking how many? I'm taking a certain amount. How many? I'm taking 231 of them, and I'm putting them in this bucket. You with me? Now I'm taking another what? And I'm putting them in another bucket. And I'm taking another 231 and putting them into a nut, another bucket. So what am I doing? Come on now. I only want one person to ask me. What am I doing to the cubes? What operation? Nope, I'm asking one person. What am I doing? What did I do? Now I'm going to go backwards. Maybe your brain can see it. If I go backwards, all right, what did I do? What am I going to do? Now I'm going to go forwards. What did I do to just those? Yes. What did I do to the cubes? You divided them into what? Yes. So I took the number of cubes, right? Which is, well, in this case, uh, I'm going to say cubes, right? And I take the number, well, actually, sorry about that. I take all of these cubes and I divide them by what? 231, right? And that told me how many pints I got, right? You see what? And again, that's uh, that's just tricky. You know what I'm saying? Right? So again, you're dividing the number of cubes into gallons. That's what you're doing. All right? And each gallon can hold what? 231. So that's why we did C or the number of cubes divided by 231. And if I was telling this author to do a better job on this question, I would have said there are uh, a certain number of, I would have said what variable to use, all right? All right, that was hard, don't worry about it. But hopefully um, you can see a little better what we're doing. All right, so here we go. Uh-oh, 33, now we got a little bit harder. All right, so we gotta be more patient now on 33. So hold on, my iPad got stuck. What's up? Okay. 
All right, hold on. Sorry, guys. All right, Jay. Well, oh, wait a minute. I got to find the page now. I'm so sorry. I got messed up. One, three. Okay, here we go. So let me blow this up now. And we are on 33, right? So tell me what to do. Um, so eight times four. Uh huh. And then. And then. Good. We are great. 13 is perfect. Perfect, perfect. What's the matter? I don't get what the answer is. We take the number of cubes and we divide it by 231. That tells me how many gallons. You with me? Yeah. That was a hard one, like I said. All right, 35. Who's up? All right, me. Tell me what to do. So, P is about minus. Which one are you doing? All right, so I'm doing six times what? No, 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 no. Just let me let me work with her. Six times what? Minus what's Z? Minus two times what's Y? That's what I'm doing first. All right, now you tell me what to do first because you were right. So two times four is what? Eight. And then what? You're awesome. So my final answer is, you are amazing. Good job, kiddo. Very good. Very good. All right, here we go. 37. Tell me now, listen, do you see what I'm doing? I'm first, I'm just going through everything, right? So you have to help me because I don't see the letters. So what's why? Good. And what's Z? Hold on one second. Four times 12. Okay, what do I do first, kiddo? So you do eight times four. Yes. All right. And then what? Yes. Yes. You're awesome. Now what? You're awesome. What is that? Four times ten. Four times two. Forty plus. Yep. Now watch this, kiddo. Let me show everybody. Look up. Everybody look up. I'm going to do 17 minus 7 first. What's that? And then 10 plus 48. Look how much easier that is. You agree with me now? Yeah, much better. You can do the order. Doesn't matter. You just got to be careful. And I need to show you that more. All right. Somebody tell me what time the bell rings because I don't want to keep you past lunch. All right. 12, 11. We got four minutes. That's beautiful. All right. Let's have uh let's well was that everybody okay guys we got four minutes and i'm happy so guess what we are done put that in your notebook all right put that in your notebook sit quietly when i call your name come on up <clears throat> because i'm going to give you your homework back all right no homework guys i appreciate your time today that was most excellent